This is part two of the new steering wheel for the Model 3. All right, guys, so here's where we're at with this. Off camera, I went ahead and stripped all of the foam rubber off of the, uh, the aluminum skeleton. And um, as you can see, it is um, it looks pretty spindly compared to the, the thick foam rubber that was encasing it. But, um, but it's actually, um, it's pretty sturdy stuff. And um, so I, um, I removed it. Oh, you can see there's still rubber inside these gaps here. I'm going to leave that in. There's no reason to take that out. But um, I removed this foam rubber, foam rubber with, um, with the help of a saber saw, belt sander, Dremel tool, and uh, just determination. I think I've got about two hours spent uh, on the wheel itself. Well, maybe less than that. Maybe an hour and a half on the wheel and another hour, hour and a half spent measuring and drawing. So <clears throat> this is the final uh, design that I've come up with here. Now, you'll notice that the, um, let's see, as the, as the center section there uh, fits, it will, um, the, this spoke here will actually protrude through the wheel. So each side will be braced behind the spoke, but the steering wheel spoke will continue down and protrude just a, a shade below this flat section. If it looks weird, I can always trim it off, but I'm, I think I'm going to let it naturally um, sweep, sweep down there. And um, so also I went ahead and angled these uh, instead of straight at each other. I angled the ends upward and shortened them just a touch to give it, give it a little bit of a better look. So that's the profile of the steering wheel. And um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and cut this. I'll be using a saber uh, saw here. Just a, just a normal handheld saber saw, but with a masonry bit. It's got chunks of diamond uh, embedded in the metal. So I'm going to go ahead and put my earplugs and safety glasses on and start cutting. So there is the uh, <clears throat> there's the steering wheel ring, <clears throat> and um, that will be essentially mounted like so. Although this is actually the back, the back side, and um, so I'll need to um, make a relief here. But this is actually the back side, and uh, <clears throat> so. So far, so good. Pretty excited to see it all come together. All right, so now that I've got the basic shape of the wheel uh, done, the next thing I'm going to do is um, use a router to round the edges and get a better feel for um, how it'll be um, smooth. Now it's going to be thicker than this. It'll be about triple this thickness and it'll be rounded as a normal steering wheel would be and it'll be sculpted but 
this is the basic form. I'm going to route the edge, uh, round the edges here. It'll still have a nice sharp back edge that I can use for tracing the next pieces. the wheel the top uh, portion of the wheel and uh, a lot more sculpting will be done and uh, again it'll be uh, stacks of this and it'll be rounded once it's uh, all fastened together but you can see the way the edge uh, the edge machines on this and you can actually shine this up and make it uh, make it glossy all the way around this is the same material that uh, many people make uh, gun handles and um, and knife stocks out of so so far so good <laughs>